Hey everyone, welcome back to my Stodgy Valley chilled out let's play. Uh, today is Friday the 5th, so hopefully that should mean that the mines are open. So what we're going to do first is quickly have a look at the weather that's coming up and see if my luck's any good today. Uh, let's see here, the weather is going to be rain all day tomorrow, so that's pretty good. So if the mine is open, I can spend more time doing that tomorrow. And as for my luck... Uh, neutral, so that's not too bad, not too great. But um, yeah, I thought I'd start off by doing the question of the episode. Um, I was just wondering what everyone's favourite food is, to be honest. Um, me personally, I love all sorts. Um, I love cooking. Um, but one of my favourites is traditionally like a shepherd's pie. Done with a slight difference the way Dad used to make and it was always amazing. But uh, yeah, so if you feel like it, feel free to comment down below what your favourite food is, maybe leave a like, and let's get on with it. Oh, hi Clint. Uh, hi there, good morning. Good morning to you too. I noticed you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore, that's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you'll find, you'll need a furnace. I'm guessing you maybe have one? Just so happens I have an extra set of blueprints lying around here. I want you to have them. Ah, awesome, thank you. That will come in mega handy now, especially like I said, if the mine is on, I believe it's on day five. Um, then I can make some furnaces up in the mines. That'd be pretty handy. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. Now that is something I was discussing last episode about tool upgrades. When you've smelt a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier, and yes, it is so handy. Especially, uh, I've been told, the axe is a good one to start with so that you can open up the Lost Woods. I believe it's called the Lost Woods. Or maybe I'm thinking of Legend of Zelda again. But either way, yeah, um, apparently it's a good way to start. Well, okay. I'm heading home. Take it easy. You too, dude. Have a good day. Ooh, we got a second visitor. I feel popular. Hello, Cody. You see this cat here? I certainly do. Mittens. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, the poor little thing. Well, you now have a home. <laughs> will you adopt this cat? Sorry, I accidentally skipped that last one. Yeah, of course I will, and I am going to name it Aggie after my real-life cat. Short for aggravation, because that's mostly what she brings. Well, little Aggie, you be a good kitty now, okay? Ah, uh, they'll be the best. Now, I know most people probably prefer the dog, but... I'm kind of both, I don't mind either. Well, let's harvest some of these parsnips up, get our farming skill upgraded. And check the mail. Hi, me sell hats. Okay, poke. Come to old, old, old house, poke. Bring coins, hat mouse. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, and uh, to our valued Joja Mark customers, our team membership, our team members, sorry, have removed the landslide caused by the drilling operations near the mountain lake. So yeah, so the uh, mines will now be open. That's awesome. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Okay. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. I don't believe you, but okay. We apologize for any convenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. Which is fine, because I am not a Joja customer. Right, so none of these are actually any use to us. 
except I do want one for the community center. So I am going to stick just one of those in there. And the rest we can sell to Pierre. So I grab out the old watering can. Let's get this done. And then I think I'm going to quickly grab the spring onions, see if there's any down there for the energy. And go check out the mine, see what's going on. But, um, yeah, whilst I'm doing this, I'd like to take a minute just to say thanks for clicking on the video. I fully understand if, you know, you don't want to stay too long. Um, I just appreciate the fact that you've come on and had a look. But I would like to say I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, so, we're going to quickly head down, have a look through the maze again. This is place has been causing me hassle. I really should have dropped off the other things, but I intend to drop them off to Pierre to sell directly rather than waiting overnight. Because, as it's Friday, I believe the traveling merchant should be here. And yes, she is. With the pig-drawn car carriage. So, what have you got? That's uh, poppy seeds, bug meat, herring, cranberry seeds. Those could be good but in full, but then I can buy them then anyway. And for 500, that's way out of the range. Uh, do we have anything good? Rare seeds are good, but they are in full, and she does quite often have them. Or at least I've noticed it whenever I've seen her before. She quite often has the rare seeds, so I'm not in a huge hurry to buy those. I'm more wanting to save up money or when the, I believe it's the Egg Festival is the first one, or the Spring Festival, so that I can get the strawberry seeds. So let's pop down here, grab some spring onions. Um, I'll do this bit off camera and then probably make my way up to Piers and I will see you in just a moment. Okay, so we're at Piers shop. Let's go have a look, see how much these pass ups are net us. I highly doubt it's gonna be a lot but every little bit counts as we are making our way up to the 13th. We should be able to buy some potatoes, I believe. And let's see here. So it should go from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so what I may do is just buy a whole load of potatoes with whatever money I've got and uh, basically plant those to make more money for the festival. And 1,600. That's not too bad. That should net us about 30 potato seeds. I could, I could get more, but I think I'll just go with the 30 for now, because that's quite a lot to look after already, <laughs> especially this early at the game. I can have a look in that bin. Um, trying to remember when the community center starts. I believe it's within the next couple of days. I know you have to enter from the bus stop. Oh, like that. Making sure I grab at least one of each of the forageables. For forageables. Uh, so when I do have the community center open, I can at least get the first section done. Ooh, some stone. Uh, so let's quickly head back to the farm before we go anywhere. Um, if I don't really get any mining done today, I'm not too upset as it's going to be raining tomorrow. Yeah, let's have a look. I cannot make the fertilizer until tomorrow. I'm wondering if it's worth waiting until tomorrow, because I know I'll get my farming skill upgraded today. Uh, then I can make the fertilizer with all the sap. So, you know, I might do that, actually, and just sort of leave it for now. Start that all tomorrow. At least then I can fertilize the ground and hopefully have some better quality potatoes. So for now, we're going to just drop off some stuff that we're not going to need. Uh, we're not really going to need uh, that can come in handy. The axe, not so much, but we'll head up to the mines now then in that case. Um, get a little bit done, grab our rusty sword, I believe they give you. And that way, at least tomorrow, we've got a little bit of a head start. So I will make my way up to the mines, and I will see you in just a mo. 
Okay, so yeah, on day five, this rock slide that was here has been cleared, which means we can now get to the mines, and I believe that's the Hunter's Guild. Um, you'll start doing a mission for them once you've got the sword, which we'll get just by going in here. Hmm. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. How long was that rock slide there for? Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Okay. It's dangerous to go take this. <laughs> you might need it. You received Rusty Sword. Name's Marlon, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild. That's it, Adventurer's Guild, right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. Okay, I'll give it a shot. So what I might do is quickly just nip down into the mines for a little bit. Probably get down to like maybe level five. <laughs> we'll just have to see first because um, these can be really unpredictable. The amount of times I used to play this and I'd find it on the first rock. And as you can see, I can literally search more or less every rock and it will probably be the last one I go to. <laughs> But, to be honest, that is one of the things that makes the mine fun, and let's grab some more ore whilst we're here. Oh yeah! <laughs> Alright, so we've got a couple of little bugs. These are easy to kill, just one swipe, biggity-bam! Sometimes worth looking in the boxes, and let's have a look. Crack through here. Take out this bug first. There's already the staircase there, so I might just have a look, see if there's anything good laying around. Before I go down. Take out this little slam. And yes, there's an ore vein over there. Let's get that. Free. That's pretty good. Oh, this is... This is a dark one. That staircase there. Well, ladder there, sorry. But we'll take out this slime and grab some more ore because I really wouldn't mind being able to craft at least one or two furnaces. I know they take, I think it's 20 ore and I feel like it was one coal. That's some water retention. I believe that's the water retention for the soil. Let's have a look. Um, I might get rid of the bug meat for now. Basic retaining soil. Yeah, so that could come in handy. Uh, something I don't know is, I've never tried it before, is if you can use uh, the water retention and the basic fertilizer at the same spot. Which might be worth giving a try. Come here, little slime. Oh, he angry. Another one. I know I don't have to kill them at the moment because I don't think I've started the Adventurer's Guilds test. Ooh. I should really check these out. <laughs> Craft a furnace. Uh, buy a coop. That's probably not going to happen for a little while. Reach farming level one and build a scarecrow. So that we'll be able to do tomorrow. Reach level five in the mines. So that we should be able to do that now, to be honest. At uh, level three, four. Oh yeah, this <laughs> is easy. But I wouldn't mind getting my combat skill up a little bit. Oh, thanks. And oh, it's quite a lot of four here. Hopefully, we can get up to the twenty that we need. I may drop 
the rocks. I know they're handy, but look at that, or I'll just eat the field snack, actually. There we go. And then we've got some quartz, which one of those I can donate. Uh, any more ore at all around here? No. So that's this floor done. Let's go down. Literally none on this floor. Okay. Just going to have a little look, see if I can find any. We'll probably leave about 11-ish. That should give us enough time to get back. Ooh, good copper. Bad copper. And another crab. Oh yeah, this is what we were looking for. Leave the mine. And we'll pop that just by the exit here, so whenever we've got more ore, we can hit the elevator. Right. Well, it is getting late. <laughs> so we'll head back and I'll start doing the farming in the morning. I don't think we've made any money from today. Uh, though we might be able to drop in some of those quartz and whatnot. Might be worth doing. So I'll get back to the farm and I'll cut to it in just a sec. Okay, so we're back on the farm. We dropped off a load of the stuff that we don't need into the bin and it is coming up to one o'clock so it is definitely time for bed so oh pet the cat there you go right so i'll see you all in the morning and we got our level one farming so that's good so we can make the scarecrow and the basic fertilizer And 152 gold. Not really anything to sing about. Oh. Right, let's get started. And it sounds absolutely terrible out there, but let's have a look at our fortune. And luck will not be on my side. See, I slightly disagree with that because of this rain on this amount of field that's going to actually come quite in handy what i'm going to do is drop this down here now i was trying to remember i saw a video about coming down from the door and i believe it was one up so about there that's where you want the scarecrow and it can cover quite a lot of ground uh, so let's grab the sap and the potato seeds don't need the watering can today and let's get to makings. We go and let's see here. Do, do, do. Charcoal, fiber, and we need some wood. I don't know if that's enough. Let's have a look. No, a little bit more wood. So 50 we want. What did I do with my axe? There it is. Right, so let's get to a bit of chopping, get that 50 wood, make ourselves a scarecrow, which just amazingly useful. They really earn their keep. And I'm going to bung this sap in there for now. And this clay can go in here. There we go. Yeah, something I should be doing is shaking the trees because sometimes you get an extra seed which aren't much but over time obviously means you can make more and more of the field snacks which are awesome okay scarecrow and we will plonk you i believe it was here i might have to look at the video again but i believe the guy put it there and that just covered all of this uh i don't believe we need to hoe too much Plant all these taters. A couple more over there with the fertilizer. Got 10 more and they can go along the bottom here. Ooh. 
That should do it. Just about. Awesome, perfect. Right, so let's drop some of this stuff off. Oop, oop, nope. Um, I don't feel like we need the axe at the moment. Especially if we're going to be going down into the mines. Something we probably prefer to have. Maybe some of the bread. That is good for energy. And some of those spring onions. Oh, and we've got mail. I've got some new items in stock. A deluxe fishing pole and some bait you can attach to it. That's pretty handy. You can use bait to make fish bite faster. Hope to see you soon, Willie. Oh. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurous spirit, that much I can tell. If you can slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in the adventurous guild. Be careful, Marlon. Oh. Yeah, that shouldn't be too easy. Too difficult, sorry. Uh, so what we're gonna do? Ooh. Now it might seem a bit crazy. I know raining probably good for fishing, but I really think we should start getting on the mine because I'd like to get some more copper ore so that I can actually start upgrading some of my tools because they are terrible at the moment. Um. Just realized what I'm going to want is probably my axe at the moment so I can start making a chest for the mine. So I'll quickly chop these down and I will meet you at the mine. Now I had to stop off and admire this. Uh, Sebastian, who we've luckily now met along the way to the mines. Help wanted. I need Joja Cola for a casserole I'm making. Now, I'm not exactly sure what type of casserole you intend to make. Take you out, and we can start doing the kill 10 slimes, so might as well start doing that. With this poor guy here. And I cannot wait to already get a much better sword. <laughs> Now, let's keep just cracking. Hey, there you go. And I can't remember what it is about these levels that when you hear the special music, I've been told that they are generally just better for things like loot or... Oh, hello. There's two of you. There we go. A cheers. Slime number two. And some more ore. Winning. Bit more. Come on. That's what we like to see. More than one. Another slime. Take him down. Slow mo walk. Well, I'd like to take this minute just whilst I'm mindlessly hacking, slashing, and mining just to ask how your day's going. I hope you're well. Um, everything seems to be looking a bit more normal where I am now. Very much looking forward to getting back to work. Um, yeah, not sure exactly where I was going to be going with that. Just, just like asking people how their day's going, to be honest. I never have too much to say, which is really odd for someone who decided to start doing YouTube about a week ago. Um, I I used to always be more of someone who would listen to people. But I thought it'd be nice to do a little bit of a change. Oh, facing the wrong way. Not going to be getting taken out by slimes down here.
but yeah so wherever you are i hope you're having a great day and i hope you're staying safe and healthy if anyone's got sort of maybe some funny uplifting stories they've got from the nationwide lockdown that we've been having i'd love to hear them personally i've had quite a boring time not been doing too much mostly just housework diy stuff but it's all improvements so i can't complain all right let's see how far we can get um i'd at least like to get to level 10 and i know it's kind of grueling seeing such small progress made but at the moment we have such terrible tools i am very limited to what i can do within a certain day Ooh, topaz uh you know what? let's get rid of the sap don't really need that god and i believe that's yeah so that is all 10 that's good let's have a look see if we got some ore around yes sir Not a huge amount, but it's always good to get us started. I believe it takes uh, five copper ores. So that you can upgrade the first tool and something like 1,000 or 2,000 coins. Let's eat a cave carrot because our energy is nearly empty. And I just realized. There we go. If I can get down one more level, I don't know if I'm going to make it back to the Star Drop Saloon. So I'm hoping I can still deliver the cola to Sebastian tomorrow. If not, I mean, we've got loads of ore now. We can start making a fair few. Or do I make a second furnace? Hmm. That's a tough question. No, no, I think I am going to go with the bars. They take a bit longer with just the one, but the sooner I can get better tools, the better. Will you please give me a stairwell? Doo, 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 doo. <laughs> Bug? Bug stair? Nope. Mr. Slime? <sighs> Nuts. Alright, looks like we're doing this the old fashioned way. Let's rock and roll. Uh, oh, I'll get rid of the bug meat so I can pick this up. Which is the leather boots. Nice. Now, if I leave the mine now, pop those on, grab that, start that one off. What I might do is just leave the ore and all that sort of jazz here. Uh, yep, yeah, all that can come back with me. Yes, I know it's getting late. There is still a chance that we might bump into Sebastian on the way home, so I'll keep an eye out. But I'm going to make my way down to back home. Down through the village. And then, uh, yeah, see what we can sell. Hopefully make a tiny bit more money because we're back down to just under 500. Um, I know there's normally another traveling merchant tomorrow. Hold on, we should be able to check that quest, actually. Uh, delivery. Oh, I've got two days to grip. give it to Sebastian, so that's no worries. We'll plod along in here. One o'clock. Jesus. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like the days go a lot quicker than others. I feel like whenever I've got a plan of something that I want to do, that's when the day will just blip by. Uh, we want one of those. Those can go. Those can go. 
Not too worried about them. So the rocks, that, that. And I'll keep hold of the quest item. Yeah, as it's uh, 120 already. Pet the kitty cat. Oh, I've already done that today. So yeah, I'm going to call it quits here. Um, end the episode. You know what? I'm going to just pause that whilst I talk. Um, good to see that we're making some progress and we've got some ore on the go. Uh, hopefully that means that we can get better tools and with our potatoes on the way, hopefully we can get some good amount of strawberry seeds. But I'm also going to want to buy some more parsnips for the community center because I know you need five gold parsnips for one of the packages. So we'll be focusing that on the next couple of episodes, making sure we've got some money for the first event. But um, yeah, for now, I'm just going to call it quits here. I hope you have the lovely rest of your day. Hope you're all well. And uh, I'm going to go to bed. Many loves. <laughs>